Welcome back in for another video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. So today we're doing the Sunday preview. So this is for the 27th of March. All of this will be available for order on April the 2nd, this upcoming Saturday. Let's get into it here. Uh, so first up, we have the Arena of Shades. So this is a box set that we have taken a look at before. It was previewed a while ago. Here's the new models for the Night Haunt and the Daughters of Cain. So some of the new Night Haunt models, again, I think in AOS, the Night Haunt are some of the coolest models uh, that they make. It's just the aesthetic for them is really cool. And I like these new models. I like the idea of having kind of these assassin ghosts that have the crossbows. Um, I don't play either of the armies, so obviously I'm not going to be getting either of these, but uh, there's still some cool new units. So, um, But I, I don't know. I think the the winner here is the Night Haunt. It's just these new models are insanely cool. Um, in terms of the Daughters of Cain, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, okay, it's an, another leader with a whip, I guess. I'm not really sure, again, what their stats are for this new model, if this is like the new leader that you want to use or not. But in terms of posing and stuff, uh, like I do kind of like the whip wrapping around, but I would have liked to have seen something kind of a little bit different, a little more, a little more new for the Daughters of Cain. But again, we'll see what the future has in store for them. So <clears throat> the next thing is Battle Zone Frontiers Knockmund. So this is an interesting kit. So I'm a big terrain person. I like painting terrain and building terrain, which I know is kind of an outlier. Most people do not enjoy it at all. But this is a cool little base because this reminds me of the bases I used to build when I was a kid out of cardboard. But on the downside, this looks like a base that I would build out of cardboard. Like, I see what they're going for here. Um, and it, it seems interesting to me. But again, I'm not sure how much this is going to cost. I'm, I'm interested to see the, the cost of this. Because I understand that you get the board in it. But in terms of the terrain, like, I guess you can build it up to have a bit of height to it. But, like, in terms of some of the other terrain that's been brought out, this seems kind of plain uh, and nondescript to me. Where usually it's got, you know, the, it's a giant cathedral. It's got, you know, symbols all over the terrain where this is very plain. Um, but, again, I guess it's supposed to be just a, a generic scientific outpost with some generic walls. Um, but we'll see. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll see how much this costs and what it's going to uh, be. But I don't know. It doesn't get me jazzed up with the terrain, considering some of the other stuff that they've shown. But <clears throat> who knows? Who knows what the future has in store here? So we've got some made-to-order Eldari models. So these are a chance to grab some of the older kits if you really wanted to get some of them. There's some cool Farseers here, admittedly. And this is it's funny that the one Farseer on the left reminds me of uh, when I used to play as a kid. So I do kind of reminisce about these models. And if you want to grab some of them, by all means uh i do like it's interesting that they're showing some of the old harlequin models i love these old models uh i i honestly would be am tempted to get these unfortunately i can't but it'd be cool to get some of these old harlequin models i actually really like them a lot uh so we've got the hemlock wraith fighters for aeronautica imperialis um uh, these look cool i like the a lot of the aeronautica stuff is really well done uh i like the miniaturization of the larger uh, plane kits but again i don't play eldar for, for uh, aeronautica so i won't be picking these up uh, and then we got some new stuff from black library so warhawks coming out in paperback and uh the last ditch is coming out for audio huh i believe i have read this book i'll have to check my records here but i'm not sure um probably end up getting it though listen i'll always like a new audio novel uh, and we've got some new officially licensed products here. Um, hmm. It's some cool mugs. If you're into any of these things, go for a mug. Why not? Uh, and new for Warhammer Plus, they've got the oh the Avatar of Cain Masterclass. I'm actually pretty interested in this. Uh, I've had a couple people tell me that I should paint up an avatar, but uh, not yet. But maybe someday I'll get an avatar just to paint. But it's, it is a cool new model. Lore Masters, the Inquisition. Oh, I'm actually interested to listen to that. Uh, we've got the Visions of Heresy. Ha. Huh. That's funny because I have that book there. And that's funny to me. Uh, I don't know. That's a weird thing to put into the vault already. That book's not that old. And it was expensive. So I'm kind of surprised that that's being put in there. Um, so, and then White Dwarf 471. Um, I think I've 
I've got that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so we got some new stuff coming out. Uh, let me know in the comments. Is there anything that you are super excited about that's going to be coming out? Um, for me this week, I actually think it's the made to order uh, Harlequins that, that are the winners for me. I, I love these old models. They're super cool. Especially, I don't know, the Death Gesture. The new, the new models for both of these are, are good, but uh, I like these as well. Especially the Shadow Seer. I don't know why, but I like the kind of plainness of it. And it's not plain at all, but in comparison to the newer model it is. Uh, but yeah, again, let me know in the comments. Is there stuff you're hoping to see? Is there stuff you're waiting on? Uh, and I'll see everybody soon.